I cannot believe this glow was made in Premiere Pro. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the coolest glow effect that you can do inside of Premiere Pro without going to After Effects. This is very simple, but better yet, it looks so good. I actually can't believe it. This glow effect can be used in anything from sports edits to music videos to Instagram reels. It's perfect for everything I edit with. Going into Premiere Pro, there are quite a few effects it takes to achieve this look, but I'm going to show you every one of them and what they all do. Let's go. I'm going to be editing these baseball videos to show you this glow. So first you're going to take your footage and duplicate it by holding alt or option on your keyboard. Then go over to your effects window and search up find edges. This is the secret sauce of how this glow effect works. It finds the edges of whatever is in focus and we can manipulate this later. Then go over to your effect controls and make sure that you hit invert on find edges just so that it turns everything black. Now we're going to want to change this color to be black and white for right now. So go over to your effects, look up tint and apply that. That will make it black and white. Then we're going to look for a levels effect. This levels effect is crucial for determining how much of the glow you want to be seen. So when you go over to your effect controls, the top input level for levels is what you want to play around with. The higher you go, the more in focus the glow will be. The lower you go, the more spread out over your entire clip the glow will be. I tend to find 50 being a good uh, medium, but it's up to you to change this to whatever you like. After levels, I apply a Gaussian blur just so that it's not so harsh. I like it probably around 10. Then I apply either, you can apply a tint effect again to tint the white color to whatever color you want, such as red, or if you delete that, you can do a four color gradient. When you apply a four color gradient, it's going to appear like this. You can change the colors to whatever you want and then make sure the blending mode is set to color. Then it's a gradient that's over these edges. And last but not least, the last effect you need to apply is a VR glow. Go ahead and apply this to your clip. Nothing will happen. That's because you need to decrease this Luma threshold and then you can change the brightness, you can change the radius of the glow, and you can just mess around with this however much you like. Then finally, scroll back up to your opacity and change this to screen. Now you can play back this video and look at this amazing glow, but there's so many more settings we can manipulate to get the perfect effect. If you want to make it even more glowy, you can go over to your levels and mess around with this black input level and it will be over the whole screen or focused in on whatever is in focus. If you want it like this, but you still want that extra glowy, you can apply a deep glow from my glow packages preset bundle, apply that and look at that. It looks so beautiful. In fact, every single one of these presets or glows, every color you can imagine, gradients and more effects is available on LukeRyanMedia.com. My bundle comes with all these cool effects that you can apply to these glows and it comes with what I'm about to show you next, the transitions or what I like to call them bursts. In order to do a burst, all you have to do is go down here and create an adjustment layer, then drag that over over two clips. Then you apply all the same settings I just showed you to this adjustment layer. For me, I'm just going to go ahead and use one of my presets, this orange glow, and I'm going to go ahead, deep glow this to make it more intense. Actually, I'm going to make it crazy intense because this is going to be a transition anyways. I'm going to apply these effects to it. And then you go to your adjustment layer, hold down control or command over the two clips where they separate, go down over here and then go down even further over here. So right now it's at 100% opacity, it's at zero right here, and then it goes down just like that. So this is a quick flash that kind of highlights the player specifically because he is what is in focus right now. Or you can go and remove all that and go to my bursts if you have my product and just apply a burst and it automatically has these very smooth transitions so that it's like a flare just a quick burst that appears and there's so many different options you can choose this gradient you can choose a cyan burst it's kind of fitting for this baseball team here and it just bursts right here and if you want it to be less you just go over to levels once again and increase this up a little bit and it will go and attach to whatever is center and in focus 
just like that. So you can really apply this to anything from sports edits to music videos to anything you can think of or just as simple transitions in your Instagram reels back and forth. This effect is so cool. I was blown away by this. I had no idea you could do this in Premiere Pro. I thought you had to go to After Effects every single time you wanted to do something fancy like this. Once again, all these glows are available on my website if you don't want to recreate them every single time, including more things like deep glows, lens distortions, crazy outlines, and I use these in almost every project. I think they're great. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys.